everyone welcome back to my channel and I'm so happy to be back here um, of course this is Jackie's choice and for today this video is about my choice of what palette I'm gonna use I know I've been kind of like slacking lately and you know um, I've been I don't know under the weather if you say that but definitely today I would like to use my Anastasia um, Master Palette by Mario. I've had this for like probably three months already but it just got into the pile of what I got here so I'm like really glad that I thought about this. Make a lot of different looks for this coming holidays that will give like um, some choices of different looks for this coming holidays and it's gonna be every week holiday so we need a lot of different looks so definitely I'm gonna be using this today and we're gonna do like a little bit of a cheat chat kind of situation here um I kind of really liked it while I talk about the products that I'm using at the moment so you know so that I can like explain every little detail to you guys and if you're new in this channel please do not forget to subscribe and hit that little bell on the side just so you will be notified every time I have a video so for now um let's get on to our tutorial okay so we shall get started by you know moisturizing the snow started to fall so it's really a little bit more chilly here so you know dryness comes along so definitely my favorite like as always I will use the vitamin enriched face base from Bobbi Brown this one massage it so let's talk about Christmas coming up soon have you guys got your um, Christmas trees up already because I know in my country which is Philippines they set up their Christmas tree as soon as the BER starts the ending of the month like September they're getting ready for the Christmas um, decorations that's what I know that's what I remember from my mom so anyway before we continue I will be using Marc Jacobs for my primer I've heard a lot of good stuff about this and this is gonna be the first time I will be using this one so this is also like you know a try try on of new products or whatsoever so it comes in this um, bottle so it's really cute so I'm not exactly sure if it comes oh it came with a pump it's different from the which I'm call that from the foundation because the foundation has like this I really don't like it we'll put it all over our face there we go so yeah like what I've mentioned where is it okay here it is it's pretty dirty because it's you're not gonna avoid the mess around it though because it, it came with like stuff like this and I always forget so every time I pull it out it just makes a, a, a mess like a really mess and you don't need a lot which is the best part about it but it kind of ran out really fast so I have that in my hand as you can see over here I only put a little bit because it blends really beautiful and a full coverage is so amazing I don't understand how they make something like that that is like yeah I drop stuff that's where I'm good at I drop stuff all the time so yeah I'm gonna be using this and so I'm not sure are we gonna do a glam look holiday glam look because the last time that I did a tutorial it's more of like a classic red lip look so let's do like a glam look. Anyway, I'm using the Mario. It's blended, right? Yeah, I can see it. So I got that done. So definitely I have to put on some concealer. I do have it here. I actually want to try. I got this as a sample in the in um, Sephora. It's actually the Bye Bye Under Eye. This one. And let's use it. So I'm going to use this one. Again, it's the Bye Bye Under Eye. Is it focusing? It's pretty thick. So I'm gonna use like um, my foundation um, brush. This is the F60 from Sigma. I'm gonna use this to 
put my concealer. It feels, um, it's kind of like, it's on a bye bye under eye illumination. Full coverage, anti-aging, waterproof concealer. So it's like, bye bye under eye illumination. So I really, I rarely have a dark circle. So it's more, more likely for highlighting or brightening my under eye because, you know, I like to contour. It's either soft or um, sharp contour, you know, depends on the occasion. I just don't want to, I just have to like really, really match it with the occasion that I want to do. So definitely. So now that I mixed that up, I'm, I'm just going to try to kind of like blend it a little bit more. Um, I know the foundation brush kind of blended it, but I just want to make sure. Okay. So, um, that's all good. And I'm just going to set that up with my Hello Flawless. From benefit this is kind of like my only but my favorites you know um I actually am so happy because I hit pan on it it's like a it's like an accomplishment every time so I'm gonna set my under eye and after that I actually want to set my whole face and I am in love with my Bye Bye Pores. I've probably done this from my other videos, but what can I do? I really, really love this product. And again, I hit pan. That's very, very rare. So I'm actually gonna use my large powder brush uh, from Sigma, it's F30, and I'm just gonna pack it up all over my face. Because I love that. Of course, who doesn't love Flawless Face, right? Okay, so after that, um, we're going to focus on my brows right now. Um, mm, they don't look very, very um, tweeny today, but we'll try our best. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Brow Definer for today because, just because... You know what? I'm going to use this one. And this color is medium brown. And I literally have to extend my eyebrows because I, I did not notice for a long time. Not until my brow girl mentioned to me that your brows are fine. It just it feels like it's short. And I realized that it was really short. I'll let it go. And the next thing is that I, it's, it's an advice. You really have to put on some eyeshadow primer just so your eyeshadow would stay put. It won't suddenly disappear at the middle of the night when everybody's just like getting started with their party. So definitely we need to have our eye primer and I love using my Lorac. So I just use a very, very little bit. Because I feel like at some point my eyelids are a bit oily. Around my face, it kind of gets so dry, but in the center, it gets so oily. I mean, I'm not exactly sure if a lot of other girls experience the same thing I'm experiencing. Like, just in the middle, it gets oily, but on the outer part, it gets like really, 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 really dry. Now, the most exciting part is trying my Mario, um, Master Palette by Mario um, from Anastasia. It's here now. Here are the colors, so I'm kind of like thinking what would be the look, but you know what? We'll just go on with it, whatever. I'm gonna use my Luxie brushes right now. I love using them as much as I love my Sigma. So to start with, um, it did came with, so the first thing that I'm gonna be using is the Hollywood and I'm gonna put that all over my lid.
Okay, and the next thing that I'm gonna use will be the Lula. This one. You know what? Actually, I want to try Isabel. It's been like drawing my attention to her. And I love the names. So nice and quiet here in the house right now. So yep, this is for our transition. I don't know. I always get this feeling. I feel like um my face is not even, like symmetrical. I don't know, it's just probably me. You know how we always do like it our best critic is ourselves and we always like find the worst thing of ourselves I'm working on that well I'm working on that to avoid doing that because you know it can it kind of gets slow, like depressing sometimes so the next thing that I want to use is another luxe brush and this is the tapered blending I love it that they have it there is a tapered blending it's number 229 all the set of brushes that i have came from my boxy charm from last month so yep and the next thing i'm going to use is actually the violetta violetta i'm actually trying to put this on my crease because i want to have some crease Again, a violetta on my other crease. There you go. I kind of, I like it. I like it. So. I kind of want to make it a little bit different right now. So for my lids, I want to use the Bronx. I know. It's kind of like different because I'm so used with like the mauve pink, you know, gold, rose gold. I'm loving that me use there. It's kind of like attracting me. But you know what? I want to make it different this time. So I'm going to use Bronx. And that's this color here. It's like greenish thingamajiggy. And I do have brown eyes, so maybe that might pop the color of my eyes. I'm not wearing any contacts today. Well, I'm wearing my clear contacts, definitely. I think this is the first time I wear, I'm wearing something like green. I'm not exactly sure. Have I? So you know what? I'm not even going to brush it because I'm just going to like tap it in. Fallouts, fallouts. Where were we? Hollywood on my brow bone. Okay, I'm kind of liking it. It's something different. I've never had, like what I say, I've never used that green thing before. So I love to blend it really well. So the next thing is I'm going to put some colors on my lower liner. Lower line. Lower liner. Oh. I'm gonna use my pencil brush from Sigma. This is the yeah pencil E30. 
So I'm probably going to use the Violetta, or no, the Isabel first. And then I'm going to put on the Violetta also. I think that's good. And then, you know what? I kind of changed my mind. I want to add a little bit of something in my in my inner inner eye. I'm probably going to add a little bit of um Fifth Avenue and this is that color kind of just like a little bit of something that bright would brighten the corner inner corner of my eyes I like it so as I finished my eye for now I'm gonna put on my liner but I kind of want to make it different right now I know my eyes are all like very um dramatic very glam for me you know it's out of my normal natural way so definitely I'm just gonna put um not wing I'm definitely gonna put a liner but it's just like a liner that is just like simple simple liner so I'm definitely gonna do that and do I do a gel or no I'm actually gonna go for something more easy and simple just because I'm gonna I want to use like really really nice um where is a really a little bit of dramatic lashes wispy but a little bit dramatic so I'm going to use my Sephora this is uh their um crayon contour for contour eye pencil 12 hour wear that's what we need we don't need anything that's smearing uh-uh I'm gonna use this once again and definitely this is gonna be so easy because there's no wing um that is included and take note just a small one too i mean a thin eyeliner would do a great job if my hands would allow it And I went straight to do a tight lining just because it was already there so yeah okay so my camera overheated and I just went on and continue putting on my thin liner using my Sephora um, liner and then I just um, installed, not installed, but definitely applied my lashes already. So I like it. What do you think? But anyway, this is not the finished look yet, and I am on my. Ne I mean, my next step is I'm going to put on my contour. It's like what I said. I feel like this is my glam look. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a lot of a lot of you out there would think that. Oh, Jackie that is just a simple look well for me it is the glam look I'm not exactly sure if I can do the Nikki tutorials kind of look but <laughs> I wish so here is a TARDIS contour palette I at some point I forgot that I have this palette so I'm gonna give it some love today and go ahead and do my um, contour with my small contour um, brush so anyway I'm gonna use this one over here I remember when I was a little girl I always get picked on because I had this um as as I, if you remember, if you've been in my channel for a while, I always mention that I have curly hair and obviously, you know, I always tie my hair back, back in the 80s, huh. There's no ironing on your hair. So, it's either have it on braids, the cornrow kind of style, but. But yeah, what was I saying? I totally lost it, but definitely. 
had my hair pulled up all the time in ponytail and so I felt like my hair is already receding and I was like so worried that what if my hair just were like really really goes away from the front or something but anyway uh, that doesn't make sense along the jawline because you know there will be a lot of pictures and I kind of don't want to look like my face would be the biggest face in, in the pictures. Nah. -uh. And we should not forget the contour for my nose. And right now I am going to use a blend. Really? No, it's not. I'm actually going to use um, this Luxie. 237 it's actually a blending brush but it's slim enough to fit on my tiny nose so I'm just gonna blend it there you go and then I'm actually just gonna add a little bit of um, this um this number two is to correct kind of like I just want my oh shoot I dipped it in the contour. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna dip it on the correcting powder to give more highlight under my eye. This is a little bit of yellowish, kinda imitates the banana. Did I say it right? Ban banana. Banana. Hmm. Okay. So I feel like everything is coming along together. So the next thing I'm going to do is, you know, kind of like bronze up my face a little bit, you know, kind of just more, I kind of want to make it look a little bit more seductive, glam seductive makeup look. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to use this, you know, everybody is talking about this thing because it's really good you know I've this is actually <laughs> my third time using it and definitely I'm going to use the bronzer of a hair and what the heck one two yeah yeah it's the bronzer that's the bronzer I said it right and most of the time I use an angle brush I'm not exactly sure why but it just feels like it's just blending it really really good so yep this one here Warm up my face a little bit. Really? <laughs> my hair? For real? Anyway, so the next thing that I'm going to do is use some blush. So I'm using my powder blush from Sigma. And this is the... You know, I'm going to have to like spit it up. Spit it. Spit it. Speed it up a little bit. It's the powder blush F10 from Sigma. And obviously I'm using this one here. And, you know, I've been using this, like, I probably used this twice already. This is the, the tweeny thing. But I already did put my blush. Hmm. You know what? I'm probably going to add more. This is the Prosecco and the Champagne Pop. And she is gorgeous, as always. Use this blush brush, powder blush. And I'm going to use the Tapered Highlighter F35 from You Know Where Sigma. So I'm going to be putting on some champagne pop. Just because I want to pop. Too bad we don't have a lot of parties going on this year. <laughs> it's like I have friends here. I don't. And a little bit in the tip of my nose. And up here girl where are we going after this yes I'm gonna pick up my son from school <laughs> but definitely so I got that done and then how about our lips it's lips time 
So, wow, that sounded so. So, uh, with my lips, I gotta, I gotta focus here because it's just, I'm just too excited because I feel so free right now. There's no noise going on. There's nobody playing the computer and, I mean, Xbox. And my dog is so calm today, except for my um, phone ringing. So, but anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner, line my lips, because I'm gonna be using a, um, I'm gonna use MAC and Dervish. that I wanted to try. I'm going to get it from this collection. This is the Sarah Moon collection. For the first time, you know, this is something that I really, really like from the NARS collection that I really got so interested. The packaging was so... Mm, I really like it. Um, very dramatic for me. I'm just thinking what would be the best color that I'm going to use today. What do you think? Um... Na, 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 na. So I'm gonna use the bound and we shall try that. Ooh, I love the dofu applicator. I think it's really really nice I love the color so <laughs> I always love everything I'm a very simple lady so I got that done and of course my final application is my set like um my finishing powder and again I'm gonna use my hourglass palette there's this finishing powder on the side over here and I'm again I'm gonna use my large powder brush this one and dab it there all over my face and I'm ready to party I think I like I actually like this look I went a little bit different on my eye you know I, I mean different from the usual you know it's so it's good that I did try it so you know I'll be able to know I wouldn't know until I tried right so I think I like it and I hope you guys like it please leave your comments down below if you have any kind of suggestions um, comments or reaction of this look or whatsoever or anything it would help you know to improve my looks or <laughs> my makeup or if you have any kind of request for a makeup look i mean please feel free i would really love to chit chat with you guys so i think that's all i have to say not my only merry christmas happy holidays so um i hope you guys will try this look tag me or whatsoever and don't forget to subscribe in my channel and i'll see you guys next time bye